Have you ever wondered? Why is it that when training AI or running large models, CPUs simply can't compete while GPUs are incredibly fast? The reason really boils down to just one thing. The CPU is like an all-round elite, great at quietly taking a complex task and seeing it through from start to finish. The GPU, on the other hand, is like an engineering army, best at mobilizing thousands of tiny workers to work together, simultaneously handling a large number of similar, simple tasks. The CPU's core design philosophy is pursuing single-task efficiency. A typical computer CPU has only 8, 16, or at most a few dozen cores, but each core is extremely powerful. Deep pipelining breaks down a computational task into over a dozen steps. Branch prediction anticipates which part of the code will execute next, avoiding stalls. It also has multi-level caches storing frequently used data close to the core so it doesn't need to fetch from distant memory every time. This design makes the CPU particularly well-suited for handling complex control logic, such as operating system scheduling, complex database queries, or in-game character AI decision-making. The GPU takes a different approach. It doesn't focus on making individual workers highly capable, but rather on having a large enough number of workers. An ordinary standalone graphics card can contain thousands of computing units. High-end cards even have tens of thousands. These computing units don't involve complex branch prediction or multi-level catching. They are pure computing tools, and they are organized into groups called warps, typically 16 or 32 units per group, working synchronously using SIMT technology. That means one instruction is issued, and a whole group of computing units executes it simultaneously, extremely efficient. The most typical example is matrix multiplication, which is the core operation in AI and large models. For example, multiplying two 1,000 by 1,000 matrices, a CPU would process row by row, column by column, calculating each element slowly, potentially taking minutes. A GPU would assign the calculation of each element to different units. With thousands of units working simultaneously, it could be done in just seconds. This is the power of massive parallelism and the core reason why deep learning and large models must use GPUs.